City of Faith Ministry, based in London, England, presents Atmosphere of Faith with God's end-time Apostle of Faith, Prophet Dr. Evans O'Pong. Great power, dynamic faith, prayer encounter, incredible miracles. It is your moment for supernatural visitation. Lift your expectation for divine manifestation. In your face. Some of you are ambassadors of your families. Some of you are ambassadors to churches, ambassadors to nations, ambassadors to visions. Things that God has empowered you to do. The enemy kept throwing the arrow so that you will quit, so that you will shut up, so that you break down, so that you resign. Many people, many people, I saw many believers, they were bending down. And the Lord said they have given up already. Please, if there is anybody in your life who has already quitted and already given up, don't give up on them. This is a warfare. For what I saw, a lot of people need empowerment because it's not their strength. Something is pulling them down. There is a demonic hand that is consistently plaguing them to give up. I pray for you today. May you be supernaturally empowered. The devil is a liar. Every warfare, every evil hand that is touching your mind to give up every satanic plague that is strengthening your colorful destiny by the power of the blood of Jesus may you overcome the battle of life may you overcome the battle of life sit down praise the Lord Then the angel showed me why people don't go to church anymore. Ay, 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 ay. Oh Lord my God. Friends, when you see it as a vision from God, it's different from when you're being described. I saw people were running and when the arrow hit them, they burn. So you begin to see people with zeal for the Lord. And all of a sudden, you don't see them going to church anymore. They have been shot. They have been shot. You see people with energy. And all of a sudden, they are so discouraged. They have been shot. An arrow has hit them. I pray for Christians all over the world. Every satanic arrow that is being thrown in the realms of the spirit. Many were wounded. May you not be wounded in the battle of life. Brothers and sisters, when it looks like things are craving for your attention to lose focus on your God, Watch out. Watch out. Amen. Watch out. Woman of God, I saw people serving the Lord. And when the arrow hits them, they bow down. They leave it. I saw it. And I was screaming, Lord, so what can we do? And I couldn't pray for anybody. I couldn't rescue anybody. Because I tell everybody, to put on the weapon. That's the only savior. That's the only savior. Amen. That's the only savior. Friends, if the weapon is on you, you will not be hit. Because when you are wearing bulletproof, no bullet can get to you. When you are wearing bulletproof, no bullet can get access to you. It is when you're vulnerable that bullets can shoot you. Please put on your bulletproof. And this bulletproof are very common and easy but difficult to put on. Righteousness. The gospel of peace. Truth. Go to the verse 16. Above all, Taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. 
one greatest weapon the shield of faith the shield of faith the shield what you sealed when the enemy is throwing you take it by the faith without faith it's impossible without faith it's impossible without faith and now faith is a substance of things hoped for evidence of things not seen faith is needed for this battle faith is needed believing God to the core I saw this in the dream, in that vision. For long hours of play, now kept looking. And friends, there are mighty names I can't mention who have been knocked down. Mado Sida Bahanda, please put on the weapon, the armor of the Lord. Your shield of faith. Your shield of faith. Your shield of faith. And one of the things I saw in that particular vision is I saw people who were trained to take God's people. They were trained. They were trained to take God's people. How do they do it? They join the army of God. And when they join the army of God, they keep taking them. They keep taking them. And the Lord was ministering to me. He said, these ones are trained to join you so they can take you. So they come to be part of the church and they'll be taken from the church. They become part of Christians and they'll be taken from Christians. They are part. They are part. They are part. Amen. They are part. When these ones came, they were not throwing that arrows. They joined them and I kept seeing them. All they were doing is to speak to their ears. So they will speak to somebody and you will bow down. And they will speak to them and the person will turn back. And they will speak to them. These people, when they joined the Christian army, they didn't throw the weapons. They were not throwing anything. They were just speaking to people's ears. They speak and the people will bow down. They speak and the people will turn back. And the Lord said, these ones are winning not by the arrows. They are winning by how they are trained. They are winning by words. Please be watchful. They were speaking to people's ears. And I kept watching. As they speak, the people will turn back. Some will bow down. Some will bend down. And the Lord said, these ones are come with words. With words. Amen. With words. With words. So that when you hear, you already won. When you listen to them, you've already been overcome. I know these are no messages we hear these days, but it's a plain vision I'm sharing with you. There are people who have been assigned to come in our midst. And when I'm preaching in our midst, it's not just city of faith. I'm talking about the body of Christ. These ones are trained to come in our midst only to speak into our ears. All they are looking for is your ear. All they are looking for is your ear. They want to tell you something that will crush you. So they are saying things that don't give you energy to rise anymore. After hearing them, you don't feel like going to church anymore. You don't feel like doing what you want to do anymore. They are trained to come into our midst. They are trained not with the arrows. They are trained to speak the battle of words. They are speaking. Friends, be careful of anybody that speak not to lift you up but to pull you down. 
be careful of the people that have come in your life to speak to you to bow down to bend down to resign when they speak to you your energy disappears when they speak to you your zeal is dead they speak to you and you want to quit that marriage they speak to you and you feel like it's over friends be careful this army are trained to speak i declare in the name of jesus every satanic voice speaking into your inner spirit i cast their influence every satanic network every evil communication by the power of the holy ghost i dismantle their power in the name of jesus And some of you hearing the sound of my voice, you must grow. Those of you watching me online, those of you Christians all over the world, some of you, because of what you have heard, don't feel like moving up again. You used to be in the choir in your church, you used to do things for God, you used to be on fire for God. And things people said have gotten you out, please sit up. Because there are enemy who are designed to speak to your ears. I speak into your life today by virtue of what God has showed me. May your strength be restored. May your power be regained. May your grounds be covered again. May God revive your inner spirit. Everyone watching me live all over the world, everybody who watch after today, I release strength upon you again. Receive your energy back. saw men of God with the Bible and sitting down. There were men who were meant to preach and they were sitting down. Magalus Kataya Limbala Sutias Anybody with God's divine calling that the enemy have beaten and spoken into your life to crush you. I restore your energy. I restore your joy. I restore your strength. I restore you supernaturally. This morning, I didn't come to speak to you how to make money. I came to speak to you how to win the battle of life. Because you cannot win this warfare and not have money at your disposal. It's so easy. Amen. So you begin to see friends all of the sudden they'll drop out from church is an arrow is an arrow is an arrow praise the lord when you leave from here share the word about this fight amen the thing keep playing as if i'm still having it and one of the most terrible things i saw mama i saw people who were holding their hands as if they were walking together and when the arrow will hit one the other one will just drop them and i hear the angels screaming pick them up and they'll drop them and i was saying god why please hear this there are people god will bring into your life to cross over with them when they are short don't leave them behind some of you are watching me if you don't hold on your husband the day you divorce them, the devil will kill them straight away. Because you see, when they are wounded, the angel keeps screaming, carry them. Some were dropping them. Some of you have friends you have dropped. Some of you have church members, church colleagues you have dropped. When they fail to go to church, when they fail to pray, when they fail to go where you're going, you just kept dropping them. You kept dropping them. Husbands that were not meant to be dropped because the devil is already looking for them. And when they were shot, they kept dropping them. And the angel said, carry them. Ay, 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 ay. Carry them. Carry them. Carry them. If we know what the Lord showed me, our passion for one another would be different. Certain marriages wouldn't have been broken. Certain friendships wouldn't have been broken. Praise the Lord. I saw something terrible I can't share here. 
something very terrible I can share here it's time to wake up and fight be part of the army fight to win fight to overcome fight to conquer fight to the end amen and amen you will not lose any battle of your life watch this please as I talk play there are some people in your life the day you leave them is the day they will die there are some people in your life they may be wives they may be husbands they may be friends they may be colleagues the day you will leave them is the day they will die he said carry them magadusa la grandos abane iladias granomasa lift up your right hands you know this month i'm dealing with the kingdom mindset so for me to all of the sudden chip in this it's a, it's a clear vision. Yesterday I preached on the encounter. What God will show you is different from what is described to you. I wish it's a screen play so that you can watch also. I couldn't pray. I was lying down. Powerless. God said put on the ammo. Glory to God. Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare every area of my life that I'm vulnerable. Oh Lord, I cover myself with the armor of God. Say I declare defy cover from every arrow of the enemy. Say I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, I am covered. Sit down. All these disappointments, all these failures, and everything is an arrow. It's an arrow. It's an arrow. You see people running towards the light. The arrow will hit them when they are almost closer and they'll bend down. Friends, if I'm running towards this thing and something hit me, I can't touch it. I can see it, but I can't touch it. That was what was happening. People are running with joy for things they are going to grab and things will hit them and they'll fall right there. They can move. Some of you are closer to destiny miracles. But you're wounded. Come on. May the angel that walk with me empower you. May God renew your spirit man. I pray for men of God. I pray for women of God. I pray for workers in the faith i pray for man langradus kataya adini matuas in this vision friends i saw also two caliber of people that were under severe attacks please watch this two groups of people under strange attacks prophets and evangelists Men who were called to be evangelists were under severe attack. Men who were called to be prophets were under severe consistently. My God. If you have a call of the evangelist, wake up. If you have a prophetic calling on your life, wake up. Wake up. Because these two group of people Okay. 
it's like they were center of attraction all the arrows so prayer warriors you can't pray the way you're praying if this is a prophetic church then we need more fire the evangelists were under severe attacks and the prophets were under severe attacks they were the center of attraction and a serious attack serious attack amen serious attack it was confusion and none could help the other nobody could help anybody because everybody was receiving arrows you cannot be waiting for somebody to pray for you you can't be waiting for somebody to pray for you pray for yourself amen am i talking to friends here pray for yourselves the church of god is under severe attack pray for yourself why will you be attacked except you're winning except you're winning if you're not winning you will not be under attack if the marriage was not at peace it wouldn't come under attack if God was not prospering in your life, you wouldn't be under attack. The attack is because you're winning. You're winning. After this encounter, I lift my voice on your behalf whatever you thought you couldn't overcome magadi salabrantas magule vagadini ilabasuas friends I am speaking directly from the throne of God this is not preaching this is encounter here I saw the enemy using the weaknesses of people against them friends the enemy can win you until through what you love because what you love is what the devil will use to wound you what you love is what the devil will use to wound you i prophesy on your life everybody in this meeting if the lord leave it may your spirit man be charged for victory wake up in the morning and pray Wake up in the afternoon and pray. Wake up and pray. Pray without season. Amen. Pray. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Be watchful. Be watchful. Sit down. Let me finish. We are still in the arm. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word. Of God. Somebody say the word. word. So you put on the helmet of salvation. The helmet. You can't ride a motorcycle in the UK without a helmet. The helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. Talk back at the devil with the word of God. When the, enemy, when the enemy speak, speak back. But only with the word. Speak back. Don't be quiet. Talk back. But with the word. When the going looks tough. When it's getting more difficult and confusing. Talk back with the word. It is written. Thou sayest the Lord. The word of God says, Amen. Amen. Go to the next. And then the verse 18. Everybody, let's read verse 18 together. One, two, let's go. For all the saints. Praying for all the saints praying with all kinds of prayers and supplication it's an armor please stop blaming people pray for everyone with all kinds of prayer 
praying for all my god if i knew this years ago my life would have been better amen praying for all friends let's pray for one another kadi mazose kratus kataya let's pray for one another let's pray for one another praying for all the saints with all kinds of prayer and supplications in the spirit not in the flesh in the spirit let the lion begin to roar from today Mazuza Kane Messiah my spirit man is verse don't lose grounds don't lose grounds you are an ambassador of God don't lose grounds because this warfare you are involved is dangerous so fight don't let the enemy kill the people around you fight amen amen precious one we hope you have been blessed go to our website for further information www.cityoffaithministry.org Call our London office on plus 44-208-591-6377 plus 44-798-469-5287 www.cityoffaithministry.org Go to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, City of Faith Ministry, a church without walls.